Aha! I have spotted wild prey. Take this! Oh! Oh! oh. Hello and welcome guys, and I am back. Yes, I am back. And how? what better way to bring back my arrival than with my brand new lab for testing mods. Just made for me. It's, this is just like everything I dreamed it would be. So this is the gerbil mod testing labs. This is basically where I'll be doing everything mod related. Testing mods, I'll be showing you how they all work. I'll be showing you everything about them in this little lab. It doesn't look much, but it will get the job done. So first of all, I would like to give you guys a tour of this place. As you can see, this is a beautiful staircase crafted by the one and only, um, that guy that crafts stuff. Uh, yeah, so over here we just have a chest, which I won't show you what's inside because that's super secret stuff that you shy should not know. Uh, here we've got a jukebox, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some basic, basic things, you know, because everybody needs an anvil in their home, you know. Everyone needs one. But yeah, so let me introduce you to my two workers, okay? This is Sir Bill. Sir Bill here will be reading your comments. Anything you post in the comment section will be read by him. And if you'd like to suggest a mod that I should do for my next mod showcase, type in the comments at Sir Bill and write in the name of the comment. Name of the comment? <laughs> type in at Sir Bill and the name of the mod you would like us to do, and Sir Bill will surely inform me of which mod you'd like me to do, and we will we will implement. We will implement on that. Here we have our second staff called Dr. Dan, and me and him will exploit these mods, and we will take a look for all their information let's say we will take a look at me and him we're a team look at us look at us we're a team unbeatable so me and him will take a look through the mods and we will get to learn everything we can about the mods so that we can present them to you in these mod showcases um so these are my testing areas and that takes us to the showcase and this is the secret room that you guys um okay i'll show you guys at the end of the video where that room is for now, let's move on to the showcase. So yeah, this is what you guys can see. see. So basically, the mod showcase I'm doing today is better ranged. Better range? No, better archery. That was it. Better archery. So we're going to be taking a look at some of the bows, the quivers, some arrows, some more arrows, even more arrows, some more arrows, and sinew. Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so let's first take a look at some crafting recipes for the bows. So uh, we have four new bows added to this mod. We have a recurve bow, a long bow, a, a yumi, a yummy, mm, yummy, uh, and a, a composite bow. To make the recurve bow, you just need to craft a simple bow, and you get a recurve bow. Basically, you just put it in the crafting table just like that, and you get a recurve bow. For the long bow, you need just a regular bow with two sticks and a string like so, and you'll get yourself the long bow. For the yummy, uh, you need three string on the one side. Um, four sugar cane like so and a leather in the middle and that give you a yummy and for the composite though you will need string bone leather in the center a stick sinew which is what we just saw at the end chest there which i'll explain how to get and a bottled hide glue which i'm not entirely sure how you get um it wasn't very obvious to me at least i don't know right now if any of you guys know please leave it in the comment section below and i will surely read that so with these four new bows i will be testing each one out later on so we'll get to that in a minute so some quivers okay so to make a basic quiver you need three leather in the shape of a bucket in the craft table and a string and that'll give you your quiver and you can make the quiver whatever color you like but before you do that you need to make it white so you need to take your quiver and so do this with with bone meal to turn it into a white one then you can change that quiver into whatever color you like if you just try to change this one straight to a red one it would not work you have to change it to a white one first and if you wanted to change it from a red one to a blue one, you'd have to t put the red one here, turn it to white, and then use lapis, and so on. It's the respective color, turns it into that quiver. And I'm pretty sure it works with every color. I've not tried it, but I'm pretty sure it is. So basically, your regular arrows here, you, if you want to turn them into a four splitting arrow, you just put four of these arrows here and tie them together with these two strings right here to give you a four splitting arrow, which I believe just splits into four when you use it. So some more arrows here. This is where the interesting arrows come in. Here we have a flaming arrow, which requires two regular arrows with the blaze powder on top of it. On either arrow, it will make you one flaming arrow. And make four flaming arrows with two strings will give you a four splitting flame arrow. This is basically the 
This is basically the code for splitting arrow. You need four of whatever arrow you want with two string, and you'll see that as we go along. So for a impact explosive arrow, you need an arrow with gunpowder and redstone torch above it. And like I said, just four of those and two string will give you a four splitting one. Um, now for the fused explosive arrow, we need, um, which this one sounds pretty cool, I can't wait to see what this one does. Um, an arrow with string and two gunpowder, and the same thing for the four splitting one. Um, an ender arrow, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, you need an arrow with an ender pearl above it, and same again for the four splitting, which will be for every arrow you make. Even more arrows, if you want a torch arrow, which I, I, I believe wherever you fire it, it will place a torch down. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what it looks like. You just need an arrow with a torch and four of these with two strings to make the four splitting. And this is where things get interesting. Two arrows and whatever potion you'd like. So you could fill this in with any potion, it'll give you that arrow. So this one's a potion of poison, it'll give me a potion of poison arrow. And here's potion of invisibility, this gives you a potion of invisibility arrow. So you could fill that with any potion you like, including splash potions. This doesn't have to be just a regular potion. And it'll turn into a splash potion instead of just a drinkable one. And finally, this is, the, this is what I want to test out really badly. The drill arrows. So you need three arrows, a sticky piston, a regular piston will not work for this recipe, a redstone torch next to that, and three flint. This will give you three drill arrows. I only put one here, but it will give you three. And because I can't get a hold of a broken drill arrow, um, if when you use one and it breaks, you just place it here with the flint above it, and it will turn into a regular drill arrow again, so you can reuse them. And like the same with every other arrow, you can put them four together and two string to get a four splitting one. And this is how you make the sinew that you've been asking about since the beginning. <sighs> Very difficult, guys. One rotten flesh turns to one sinew. Catching. Okay, so now this is the bit I'm waiting for because I have I have honestly not tested these arrows out yet. But I'm going to take I'm going to take these bows first. And uh, let's let's try one of each of one so far and this is what I've been waiting for because I have not tried these out yet I cannot wait to see what these do I can pretty much guess what those ones will do um so yeah let's, let's let's get some of these and I'm gonna get myself a quiver as well I want to test these out okay so a quiver let's just get this one and as you can see it kind of like leaves what do I do though I just click it okay oh okay so I can put my arrows in here Let's put some some of those in there. Okay, so now we'll just take a look and test it out. Oh, okay, so another feature that I forgot to explain about my special lab. As you can see, it's turning nighttime now. Whenever, when, oh, I've just realized uh, I'm a quiver at the top. The, the one that's bouncing is probably the one I'm going to shoot. Anyway, now it's turning nighttime, and my lab has a mysterious power that every time I'm inside it, it changes the. Um, from night to day, and the weather will clear every time I go. So as you can see, now it's turning dark. As soon as we get to the lab, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, let me go and test these out. So let's go to testing area number two to test these arrows out. And let's release that stuff, a test subject. Oh, I can't wait to set. Let's take a look at this composite though. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I kind of feel sorry for the poor guy. But look at that. He should support at the same time. That is pretty cool. So I can probably guess what this next one will do. It'll just shoot one. Oh, oh. It's set fire to floor. No. No, come on. There we go. Don't let them hit the floor. <laughs> okay. So what's this one? This one places a torch, I think. So let's just shoot this one here. Oh. That is cool. Wait, you can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. Look, when have you ever seen people place torches on the wall like that? I mean, I could literally just, if I want to place torches there. Oh. Oh. Okay, that works for me. Uh, let me try this ender one. Let's see if this teleports me to wherever it lands. Ow! Okay, so that does work like that. So, these basically just teleport you to wherever you're going to land. Okay, let's add some more arrows to the quiver. Let's add... Yeah, that's that sounded weird when I said it. Okay, let's try some new ones. What haven't I tried yet? Um, let's try the fuse explosive ones first. Uh, then the impact explosive ones. And then let's have uh, one of these four splitting ones for the grand finale. Let's try a different bow. Let's try this one. Okay, what's this one? I, I think it's the fuse explosive. Oh my goodness, God. Oh, Jesus. I did not know that was... Oh my goodness. Oh my God. 
False win. Oh god. That is pretty damn cool. I seem to have destroyed my um my testificate spawner. Well, I mean my uh, test subject spawner. Yeah. Okay, so we'll that's pretty cool. We'll just <laughs> leave that. Nothing ever happened here, you know. So let's go back to the lab and now what I want to test out is this drill. So let's go to testing area number one. And because I knew I'd just run out, I'm going to give myself some more drill arrows. There we go. Uh, let's put those in there. No, wait, what? Oh, I can only have 16 at a time. Okay, so we're going to take a look first and see. Hmm. Wait, no. Okay, what I want to do first... I'm going to try the second test first. I'm going to use this one first because I want to see how far down it is. I don't want to know how strong it is just yet. So let's take 16 of those out. Let's put 16 of those in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop up on top of this platform here. And in this cross here, I'm going to shoot these arrows. And let's see how much damage these things do. Oh. 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 That is pretty cool. How far down can I go? Do I just like keep doing this? Ow, 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 ow. I'm hitting myself. Jeez. Ow, what the? Okay, so you have to you have to draw all the way back before you shoot or else you're going to just hit yourself. This is pretty cool. Oh my god. Look at the hat. Isn't that amazing? Just look at that. Oh my goodness, god. That's gone very deep down. So if you want to dig like a very, very, oh, if you want to dig a very rough tunnel, you know what to do. <laughs> Just get yourself some of these. Okay, now this is what I want to figure out. I want to figure out how strong are these things. So let's get some, it's just some regular force arrows, arrows. And let's test out this longbow. Okay, so let's see if it can break through coal. Okay, it breaks through coal. Lovely. Iron. Next test. Okay, it breaks through iron. Where'd my iron go? Oh no, it just destroyed my iron. Does it have like a chance of dropping? Okay, let's see if it breaks through gold. Okay, it gave me the gold this time. Okay, now let's see if it breaks through redstone. Next test. It breaks through redstone. Oh, it pins whatever it catches to the wall as well. So I think it was on the end of that. Was it? Oh no, oh, oh no. Okay, now this is, the, this is what I wanna see. Can these arrows break through diamonds? Oh my goodness, look, and it pins it to the wall. That is impressive. So now you don't even you don't even need a diamond pick anymore or an iron pick anymore to get diamonds. Oh, I should have tried a bit of obsidian. Never mind. Anyway, that was pretty pretty cool. So now this this makes it so much easier. You don't you won't have to you won't necessarily have to make an iron pickaxe before you want to get diamonds now you can just make one of these bows and you can just like you're all set okay so anyway now now that we've tested all this cool stuff out I think it's time to show you guys since we're at the since we've finished this mod showcase I think it's time to show you what you want to see and that's what this secret room is so let's go down and show you what the secret room is okay so basically this secret room it's a thing that I'm going to be doing right now it's empty so the facts of the day today we don't have one so what I want you guys to do is in the comment section of this video post down below any interesting facts you know about absolutely anything. It could be astrology, it could be animals, it could be inventions, it could be about people, anything interesting at all. Because I like facts, I don't know if you like to know a lot of facts, but I certainly do. So if you have any interesting facts whatsoever, put it in the comment section below. I will read all the comments and I will choose out my favourite facts that I've seen for the day. And I will put your name right here, give you a shout out and I will read out the facts for everybody to hear. So anyway, that's what this room is for. So I guess that's it I have for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, that didn't work very well. There we go. Thank you guys for watching. Um, remember, at Bill, uh, to enter what mods you want to see next. Uh, write in the comments what what facts you know to be on my facts wall. And that's it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to rate, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Stay fluffy, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day.